And we back. Lock in, ladies and gentlemen, because this challenge right here might be one of our best. We're calling it the linear progression challenge, where every single season, our team must be better than the last year. In year number one, we got to be one of the worst teams of all time, win a total of zero to 10 games. In year number two, we need to go from 10 games to 20 games in between there. Then between 20 and 30, 30 and 40, until we go to be a 70 plus win team. And we're going to end it there because you know there's no way in heck I've ever been able to go 82 and 0. So year one, zero to 10, and by year number eight, 70 plus wins. I have to make trades, signings, whatever it takes to fit in between the parameters. Leave a like, subscribe, let's get into it. We start off by finding out what team we're gonna be using today. It's stopping in three, in two, and in one. We're running with the Phoenix Suns. And the Suns are gonna have pick this is one of those challenges where I don't want a good pick. Pick number 17. We'll take that. With the 17th overall pick, we ended up getting Anthony Edwards, Demonte Sabonis, Jalen Williams. This team has to win 0 to 10 games. I hate the fact that we draft. This is a dra they drafted a nice young team and we got to dismantle this team which bothers me, man. I would love to just keep this roster. J Dub, Anthony Edwards, you got Scoot and those scooters down to a 75. I bet that boy got value still. I bet he got four star value. You see what I'm saying? We got to trade them away. So what I'm going to what I'm going to do is hopefully try to trade the the players. We can keep school. What am I talking about? He's a 75. You don't trade a 75. You trade the 90 plus players and all of that. Um try to trade for a bunch of draft picks. That's the that's the idea behind it. Like Franz Wagner in the first round pick is only two star value, but something like that. I'm going to trade for Amin Thompson and DeJounte Murray to start off with. Then I think Amin Thompson might be safe. He's only a 76. So if we have him and school Henderson are they too good to lose to win nine games to win 10 games? I don't know. The more I think about it, I think about how long this challenge is going to be. So I think this first year, I'm going to breeze through these trades and we'll, we'll show you exactly the type of trades we ended up doing and the players we ended up with. Welcome to the look of the new team. It's Ivan Tops. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't even recognize, I didn't recognize you. Josh Primo was on the team. Um, let's quickly make an adjustment. We got a first round pick for Josh Primo. That's a finesse job. But we have to now trade Gary Harris because Gary Harris might turn into a superstar if we give him the keys to the car. And we don't want to do that. All right, Lindy Waters. Thank you. Another first round pick. Okay, so the team is actually Amin Thompson, Miles McBride, Lindy Waters. We, we have Najee Marshall and Dariq Whitehead. One thing you notice is that we have zero centers. That's that's on purpose. I, I don't want to rebound because rebounding means wins. I don't want to do that. This is the team. It's really bad. We have Jordan Hawkins and School Henderson. Uh, why not start School Henderson? You know, why not start School Henderson? School Henderson is going to start for us. Him and Amin Thompson. That's the future and the now. Uh, we need to win a total of zero to 10 games. Game number one is going to tell us a lot and we lost. Yup. Yup. Okay. This should be, if we start, to, if I see us win two games in a row, I'm trading. Uh, I'm going to trade maybe Amin Thompson. Like who would be the reason? Luke Kennard has 13 badges. Luke Kennard might be the guy that gets traded. Um, and they're going to say, hey, you don't have enough players in your roster. You're right. You're right. So let's fix that. By bring, nope, you're a center. By bringing in some uh, G League players for minimums. Yep, yep. G League players for minimums. And, and these guys are going to help us uh, go into obscurity. We love it. Here are all the awards, if you care. Um, when it comes to the... Chi we're not the Chicago Bulls. My mind is just so... Re we're not the Chicago Bulls. We're the Phoenix Suns. Um... I didn't even see what the school Henderson or one of our guys from rookie of the year. Scoot was okay. I'm in was cool. Did rookie, rookie of the years. Hello. Rookie first team, rookie second team. Dang. Um, we won a total of three games, three total games. Ladies and gentlemen, year one is checked off. Now year two is between 10 and 20 games. So we have to dramatically change our team. The Utah Jazz won a championship. Shout out to them. We have to dramatically change our team right now, but we can't make them too good, but we have to make them decent. And that, that, like, that's that's the problem. I have a tendency of going either really good or really bad. And you you asking me to do just a little bit better. Um, we have the highest odds. We have four lottery picks. One of them is going to get us a top pick. I was completely wrong. We dropped down to four, actually. So that's not great. We have four, nine, 11, and 13. We also got 21 back there and another one somewhere. Let's see if this class has somebody we would want. First overall pick guy, uh, B minus. He's 23 though. Do we want a 23 year old guy, Sam Jones and Malcolm Brogdon? The scouters say, hey, this guy could be Bam or Miles Turner, but he can't shoot. So can you really be Miles Turner if you can't shoot? Uh, actually, I'm okay with not having a first overall pick, even though this class has a bunch of adults. Like what the heck? Oh man. I mean, trading for the first overall pick doesn't make sense because this guy is 23 years old. Good defender, good shooter. 
I mean, could be Sam Jones. I'm, I'm spending too much time. We're actually going to... We will trade some of these draft picks, though. Now, we're not going to trade the number four overall pick, but, like, do we need number 11, 13, 17, 21? No, no, we don't need those picks. So that's how we're going to make our team better. We're going to say uh, uh, Michich in th 13 and 11. That's, that's, hey, that's a good trade. Somebody need to offer us something. Be like, bring it in Austin Reeves. Oh, we already got guards and Amin Thompson and Scoo Henderson, right? We should be thinking about forward play. And it's, it doesn't exist here. Uh, cause th Okay, this is my mindset right now. Be be between Scoot and Amin Thompson progression progressing, we should be better just based on that. You feel me? I might trade. Like, this trade don't look too bad. But this trade also might make us win 23 games. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm a Jalen Johnson fan. Mitchell Robinson's good. That's the only trade we're going to do. We're going to use this next draft pick. I don't know who's going to be available. We're going to take a shot in the dark. Whoever we land on, that's what we land on, okay? First overall pick go goes to Reggie. Second overall pick is traded. Second overall pick for Fred Van Vliet in six, okay? So just traded down a couple spots. And now we got our team. Like, this center, he's a small center that can't really shoot or dribble. Like, why have a why be 6'9 and not be do the things? Well, he's not awful at it. He is only 20, while, like, everybody else around him is old. You know what? We're going to go with Marvin Kent. Marvin Kent, welcome to the team. I should have changed the rule set so that people would come into the draft earlier because there's too many old people here. I went from a team that had zero centers to I almost drafted exclusively centers, which is maybe not <laughs> maybe not the smartest thing to do, but that's, that's what I did. Like, I genuinely think that we should just not do anything. Like, this team should win 12 to 14, 18 games, right? No free agency period for us. We're not signing nobody. And it's not a great class anyway. We could give LeBron a bunch of money. It's not a great class. I'm, I'm letting it ride. No free agency signings at all. We just, based on, see, look, plus four, plus four. So our new star lineup ain't going to be too bad. We got Kent down here. We also got this guy, a three-level scorer. He's eyed at a bunch of different stuff, but he's only 18, so we could get better. And then this guy was late in the first round, Reed Robinson. I don't know if he's going to be good long-term if he got good progression, but he's only 20. I think we had a good offseason, all things considered. It would have been great if we kept the first overall pick and all, but we failed. We drafted accordingly, and now that dude might be Miles Turner or Bam Adebayo in a few years. So, okay, star lineup looks like this. I'm actually going to make Amin Thompson the shooting guard full-time just so there's no confusion about that. He's 6'7", so I know he can get it done. So it's Amin Thompson and School Henderson. Uh, it's Wayne Wright at the three. Are we okay with that? Yeah, because why not? It's Wayne Wright at the three, Jalen Johnson, Mitchell Robinson. Then we got Marvin Kent, J uh, Jay Hawk, and some other stuff. 10-win uh, team, for sure. We lose by 30 to start off the season. But look at our guys. You know what, Jalen Johnson? Let me change your shot, Tennessee. I'm, I'm ready for you to be an all-star. Yep, I said it. Get your shot, Tennessee, up there with the rest. Actually, you taking the most shots. On it. You got three badges only. Can we get some love to Jalen Johnson, please, 2K? There's another big loss. Okay, we just if we get too bad, then I will make changes accordingly. But I feel like we're gonna be all right. We're not even at the break. We ha we had a successful season. I actually, we need to keep losing. Uh, now we can't get to, we can't get to 21 wins. But I don't think we're gonna get to it. I think this is a good year. Actually, we're gonna dump some players off right now because we already won the most. Uh, Mitch Robinson is upset. I, I know he always ends up being upset. But our guy Marvin Kent is playing crazy right now. So Mitch Rob, you can you can go. Actually, you so upset about your playing time or your lack of touches, whatever it may be, you can go because we got somebody just waiting in the pipeline to take your spot anyway. Wow, that's Car Anthony Towns. I'm not gonna make that trade, but I will do a Gary Trent Jr. trade. Boom, and then we're gonna trade J Gary Trent Jr. down because we don't need Gary Trent Jr. because we have a younger version and better version of him right now and Jordan Hawkins. Even though I don't know what the what the what is the bad progression in 2K. I have no idea how that works. Boom, we get in Maxi Kleber. There we go. That's that's a W win. Because we also got um, a draft pick. Uh, we're actually going to start. Why not start Jordan Hawkins? He's short. I don't care. We we are going to lose games anyway. But we finally give Marvin Kent the keys. And listen, Kent, I'm sorry I, I, I was a little bit skeptical of your, your talents. Because you really like that, apparently. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We, got, we cannot win these last two games. We cannot win these last two games. Okay, we don't. Wow. That right there was... We get it, it exactly 20 we get rookie of the year. That was scary. Like, it, it went down to the last two games, and we walked out of there. Whew. All right. That's... We played... We, we uh, flew a little bit too close to the sun. That's okay. We got your number two done. Now we have to increase this team by one to, to ten wins. That's it. 
Luka Doncic is back and he goes back to back in the NBA championship. Um, LeBron, just stop. All you dudes that are still good, stop. And I will change it so that uh, people can come in at 18 years old because 20, a 23 year old first overall pick, I would have to go back and look at the hit. It's been so long since we had a first overall pick that was that old. So yeah, that don't happen in 2023. Speaking of that, first overall pick is going to the Miami Heat. We have five, seven, 14, and that's it in this draft as far as first round picks go. Uh, let's see if they have a stud up top because I will package all these trades together. We have a point guard from Nigeria. He is 6'6". Oh my God, let's go trade with the Miami Heat. Hey, um, Heat Nation, um, I heard that you want to trade your first overall pick in exchange for... Da, 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 in exchange for this guy, Reed, he was okay. He's two and a half star, and we'll give you pick number five and pick number seven. There we go. Um, did I finesse them? Yeah. Should I care? No. We got a six six. Are you good? First of all, I didn't even look to see who you compare to. Darren Williams or Hall of Famer? I like that range personally. I think that's a good range. I think that good, good range because even if he's Darren Williams, that's still an All Star in this league, a multiple time All Star in this league. So. He's only a 78, but we will take that because he might get good progression and so on. Okay, so we only need to change this team a little bit, right? Actually, I don't know if we have to change it at all other than I might, I don't know, look for a new small four because we don't really have one. Dariq Whitehead was starting, and then we had Ish Wainwright starting and stuff. I could make Amin Thompson that guy because Amin Thompson's 6'7", and he's like a versatile player. I could make Jalen Johnson that guy and go sign somebody else to play the power forward position because he could do that too. So it's like, it's a couple different options that I can have right now. Play progression. Remember, we have Scoot and Amin Thompson. Both of them jump up four. Kent jumps up three. I guess we'll take that. Cardinal jumps up two. And uh, Sergey Ser Ser jumps up three. Um, okay. I think, that was a, I think that was a good off season. The idea is to uh, run Amin Thompson at the three. Run Amin Thompson at the three, Jalen Johnson at the four, and we we chill that way. Overall stays the same. I could put this man in almost any position. Look, center, power forward, and center. Okay, he drops. But for the first three positions, he can he can run all of that. So we do that, and then that will put Jordan Hawkins in the starting lineup. Twenty. What, oh, oh, they want to start the rook over school Henderson. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. He might get that one day. He might get that one day. Not yet. Okay. Um, we need to win a total of 20 to 30 games. Remember, we were at 20 last year. Um, or I guess 21 to 30 games. We were at 20 last year. We just can't let it get too out of control. Oh, my God. Cardinal off the bench. You drop a 24-piece. We're okay with that. Against the defending champions. We like that a lot. And the rookie's first game is 13-1-2 off the bench. Um, school. I don't know, man. You might have to count your days if the rook is looking like that, you know? Y'all, we might be too good. We already have 19 wins, and we still got all of these games left. We're going to have to make a trade, um, which is unfortunate because I, I actually really, really like this team. Wait, did, did uh, Jalen Johnson win uh, most improved player last year? He should have. He did not. Wow. How can you? Who won it over you? Because he went from 8 points per game to 19 points per game. Okay, so but we do need to make some trades because we're, I think we are too good. And I don't know what that trade is. Like, it might be School Henderson trading him now while his vow, like, before he hits that next contract. I don't want to trade him, but allowing the rookie to kind of find himself. I mean, the rookie is playing 18, 5, and 5 per 36. Scoot per 36 is 17, 6, and 4 on worse splits. Scoot is actually worse than him right now. He's actually, Scoot, you got to go. But I, the, the problem is I'm I'm going to have to lose the trade, though. Oh, my God. There's Trey Young in a first-round pick. Jeez, I might pull off the Trey Young trade for the first-round pick and then flip Trey Young. Yeah, I think that's the... Ooh, the Zach Levine, when that pick is unprotected, the Trey Young pick was top three protected. We'll do the Zach Levine trade, um, unprotected pick, and then we flip Zach Levine for uh, literally anything. Anything that's not good. Like, give us two role players that we won't play or something or give me another first round pick and then we trade that player who was michael porter jr uh for, for more first round pick. this is what we got to do every year which is i wanted to keep school on the team bro like we had him he has struggled to start off his nba career he was only a 70 something and we got him all the way up to basically an 85 with morale boost and then we had to ship him out because you're you're too good you're, you're the team is too good school jordan Poole and marjan bolchamp and uh, Jordan Poole is guaranteed $32 million over the next two years, and he is a 79 overall. 
Like, yeah. how crazy is that? We might just keep him. We might keep Jordan Poole on the team. They want to start him. Are you good, Jordan? He's not terrible. He can't shoot. He hasn't been able to shoot in a long time. Um, does that make us worse? I think so. I mean, Sergey was playing really good basketball. I don't want to take... I'm going to give Sergey the minutes over Bo Champ just because we drafted this kid. We want to see him be better. Guys... We are a 30-win team with three weeks to go. We are a 30-win team with three weeks to go. We have to lose 11 games in a row to end the season. And we haven't gone on any kind of, like, losing streak that's even close to that this year. Oh, boy. The rookie is too good. You know, I'm in Thompson, too good. Jalen Johnson, too good. Whoa, Kent lost his starting spot to Cardinal. Like, like, okay. All right. Um, I don't, we cannot win any more basketball games. Okay. Um, a rule that I set for myself is I can't just be petty and say, huh, I'm in Thompson. You're out for the season. Yeah, <laughs> no. But I can adjust the minutes at least a little bit so that, like, uh, uh, we get Maxi Kleba getting a bunch of minutes. Or um, uh, Ish Wainwright, who was a starter for us last year, gets a bunch of... Man, are we going to fail this challenge in year number... Was this year number three? Only year number three? I'm... We just too good of GMs. We're just such a good GM core. We just we just good at everything we do in the GM thing. Or well, well does this make me a bad GM? Because I had goals and I'm failing. Do we go game by game? <laughs> oh my god! It took one game. Darius Garland, you sold. Oh, Scoot, you sold us. You supposed to have your revenge game, man. Le LeBron, LeBron, six, s seven points. All right, so officially we failed. Okay, but I still want to. Can can I get? Seven out of eight years or something. Oh boy, that's unfortunate. We're gonna keep it going. We're gonna keep it going. I'm gonna still go to full eight years and see how many I'm successful in. This one is a fail. Your number three is a fail. Whatever. Um, Luka Doncic, do you care about any of this? I'm disappointed in ourselves. We, we put together too good of a team. We are on the outside looking in the playoffs still, but next year we have to win 30 to 40 games and the team just won 34. So I actually have to, I think I have to make this team worse. Because you think about playoff progression and all of that stuff, we go, we're just going to be better next season. All right, do we got a good pick? We have pick number four. We have pick number four, six, seven, eight, nine, 17, 26. What the? Man, we was just we just been making a lot of trades. That, that's all it is. You know, that's all it is. So let's see. Um, is there a super stud in this draft class? Well, Bruce Ball, the fourth Ball brothers here. He's Hakeem or Dino Raja. Then we got this guy, RJ Cameron, who's not as good, but for some reason he's the number one prospect there. I'm, I'm assuming that's fluke. Like, yeah, Bruce Ball is expected to go number one all across the board. I mean, I am going to try to make a trade for him. <laughs> Every year he's going to have the first overall pick. All right, so we will give y'all pick number four and pick number seven. Take it or leave it. They took it. That was just so easy. Um, Yeah. Listen, for, for, for the guys out there, I got Marvin Clint um, or Kent. He's going to he's gonna be really upset that we're drafting another center. But, like, what do you expect us to do, you know? I think if we just have our rotation be a bunch of rookies and sophomores and super young players, then we just, by nature, we, can't, we cannot be good, right? We cannot be good if we have this many young people on the team at the same time. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Carl Malone is your ceiling, but you are 69 overall. That's the biggest boomer bust I've ever seen. Karl Malone or RJ Reed? Yeah, no thank you. I'm going to let Jordan Hawkins go. I think he deserves to go to a team where he could potentially start. That'll never happen Never happen here. I think I'm actually going to let... I can't let Sergey go. Never mind. Um, Cardinal, he ended up starting a little bit last year, but we have so many centers now that we might as well let Cardinal go too. You know, between Marvin and now the ball brother... Like, we don't need another center, and I would rather him go spray his wings a little bit. I respect him too much to let him ride on my bench. And he only want $9 million. Man, I hope somebody pick you up. Well, somebody will pick you up for only $9 million. I'm going to sign 41-year-old Chris Paul to a contract. How great is that? He's 41 and 79. I'm a, Bro, he's about to be... He's about to be a 74 overall. He's about to drop so much once we hit this play progression. Just watch. Just book it. He's 41. He only dropped by one. Chris Paul's the GOAT. Um, but Amin Thompson's really good. The rookie is really good. Or sorry, he's not a rookie anymore. Or Udo is really good. And yeah, I mean, what can I what can I really say? What can I really say? I think we make Amin Thompson back a shooting guard. We might let Marvin play the play the four and move Jalen up. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run that that way. Cause he's six he's six nine. He can run the four. He can't really shoot like that, but he's six nine. He can he can run that. And we need to win what? Between 30 and 40 games? 
potentially be a, a playing team? We love that. Really good lineup, bro. Really good lineup. Maybe too good of a lineup. We got to trade Jordan Poole. We have to trade Jordan Poole. We just don't need him. We just don't need him. $34 million is still crazy. We don't need him. You know what? We're just going to take his minutes. We're just going to take his minutes. There's no trade out that is worth doing. We don't need all these extra shooting guard minutes. We do need an extra point guard play. So we're going to give some of those minutes to Chris Paul. Now I just realized I let Cardinal go when, when I was putting... The next guy, we moved him over. Cardinal can play backup center right now. We, we let him go. That sucks, but whatever. First game of the season is a loss. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually rooting against us because I think our talent level is high enough to win 50, 45 games. So I need them to start off the season on a nice little losing streak because we, we don't need no momentum. We have secured our spot as 30 to 40. So that's dope. Um, it's not enough games to get over that. So, so we'll take our win here and we, we leave it as, as that. Uh, did we win exactly 34 last year? Uh, I think so. So we only got slightly, I mean, slightly better. Luka didn't switch teams. He's in Orlando now. And they were the two seed. Okay, so that was a really good year. Next year is 50. Wait, 40 to 50. I almost skipped the whole year. Oh, we were a playing team. Look at us. I, I, I didn't know that. We, we lost, but it's cool that we made it. LaMelo versus Luka just taking teams to the finals and winning them. We need to get Luka. No, because finals and winning is not really our thing. Anyway, um... I don't think we have any like additional first round picks this year. I could be wrong. And okay, we got the seventh overall pick from Philly and then the 11th overall pick from in-house. Not too bad. I feel pretty good about now. I think this is gonna go as smooth as possible now. I think we found a groove. I think we found a rotation that we really like. I'm gonna keep drafting because I just like the, the idea of looking at prospects and stuff. And there's a guy in there named Mayo. He, he was 6'7", so I had to, you know, my philosophy is draft tall players in 2K is usually gonna work out good. In this case, <laughs> Maybe not so much. He's only a 70, but uh, you know, it was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth the try You know, you got to stick you got to stick to your own philosophies until they start to fail more often than not And that was the first time that that ide ideology has failed me. You know, it was the first time ever so I'm in Thompson's restricted Jordan Poole is out the door. So that's cool Um, I'm in wants 40 million. He's worth 40 million for what we do on this team He's trying to go to the jazz. We accepted that money. All right, so we should be good We should be looking and feeling pretty good about next season again. No big changes you know, maybe go get a backup center just to have somebody that can play some minutes, but not somebody that's too good. So let's go out there and get this guy, Ingram. Oh, we don't have the money for it. Yes, we do. Go get Ingram. I don't know who he is, what he do, but he's not great. And he, he fits what we want to do, which is just be all right. Craig Porter Jr. can come be a backup point guard, hopefully. Boom. All right. So I think we had a really good off, really good offseason. We need to win between 40 and 50 games. 40 and 50. Just that, like, we can, we can try. Like, this guy's a... Bro. 40 to 50. Okay, so Kent has plateaued. Not really. I mean, his mid-range jump shot went up. His interior defense went up. But as far as his overall, at 23 years old, he's done. He was the fourth overall pick in the class we got him. So I'm not tripping about that. If he's a 70, uh, uh, 83, we'll, we'll take that. Um, Jalen Johnson's very similar. He's not getting much better. But Sergey jumps up four. Okay. He's a, a lethal shooter. Yeah, Sergey. All right. This is your year. This is your year to be the sixth man of the team, basically. But um, Bruce Ball, did he win Rookie of the Year? I didn't even check. He indeed did. Um, all right. Okay. Okay. All right, boys. We feel good. 40 to 50 wins. 40 to 50 wins puts us in the playoffs at least. So maybe we, we get some real playoff basketball finally in year number five or whatever this is. Star lineup looks like this. Sergey again is the sixth man, which we like. Year was an absolute cakewalk. Absolute. Oh, my God. I'm in Tom's main all NBA team absolute cakewalk all defensive team as well he's really like that and we were the four five c with 45 wins should we care about playoff success nah not yet at least i think we deserve to win at least one championship throughout the video it's not happening today that's completely okay tatum versus morant tatum ends up winning okay cool like i'm having i'm having a ton of fun doing this we end up with the fifth overall pick in 13 Somehow we still just got draft picks sitting around. You feel me? I, I ain't even. I haven't done a trade in feels like years, and we still got draft picks sitting around. Drafted a guy named Norm. He's a three-level score from the power four position. Strictly a power four. You know he can't play small four to seventy six eight from the G League Ignite. Can we see his statistics? He can shoot. He can score. He can score. He can score. He might turn into some. He might not. It don't even matter at this point. I know what my star players are. And um, I'm, I don't want to sign you either. Sorry. The 13th overall pick did not get a contract. We're actually going to let uh, Marvin Kent walk in free agency. Um, just too much money to be tied into him. I mean, he's good. He's really good, y'all. He's really, really good, y'all. But he just, we just can't afford to keep him with all the other players. We basically had to pick between him and Sergey. 
and I would I would prioritize the, the wing play, the guard, the shooter. I, I'm prioritizing that right now. You know, it, it hurts my heart. It, re it really does hurt my heart because Marvin Kent, you know, they said he was going to be Bam on the bio or Miles Turner. He hasn't turned into any of those players, but he still has a chance to be a really good NBA player. It just can't, it just won't happen here, you know? We'd rather have Sergey and let him rock as um, a six man again. I think he played that role pretty well. We're going to have Jonathan Steele be the new starting power forward. We also got Jeffrey Gribbs, and then we got Norm, who we just drafted. We just had a plethora of power force, and we couldn't pay them all or keep them all. So I'm going to do that and then uh, bring back. I just renounced the rights of Sergey. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Hello, I just lost him. I, I'm. This is 2K's fault. Yup, I'm blaming 2K because I. Why do I have to tell them every every period that I, I don't that? I, oh my god, this is so stupid. Sergey, please, bro, please, because then everything I just did was for nothing. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, this game, bro, this game just made me lose both players. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so frustrating. That is so... I cannot put into words how frustrating that that is, man. Dude, like, why? Why is that a thing? I t You saw me kept telling them, right? I did not want to renounce the rights. I did not want to renounce the rights. I did not want to renounce the rights. And they made me renounce the rights. Ken has a bunch of offers, but they're not good. Can't give them nothing better. Oh, man. So both of them are just going to not have a job now because Sergey's got zero offers and he's not interested to come back. Th that's that's as frustrated I, as I can get in the singular game. Luckily, Ball and, and Udo or just and, and Thompson are just so great that it shouldn't matter at the end of the day. But we lost significant depth. Like we lost significant depth right there. We lost both of, both of those players play really big parts in what we were doing last year. And we lost them both for nothing because 2K, 2K made up, not 2K. The league made us decide between the two because of the tax and everything. I understand that. But 2K made us not get either of them. And that's just so frustrating. I mean, I still think we're good enough to win. What do we need to win? 50 games this year? Right? We have 390 overall players. We, we might be too good for 50 games. We might be. Another successful year for your Phoenix Suns. Oh, my God. First team for Udo. Okay. 26, 7, and 7. Okay. All right, first teamer. We were the three seed. We won 57 games. Next year, we got to win 60. Then the year after that, we got to win 70 plus. So we're out of here. And I feel pretty confident about our chances doing those things. Um, can we win a championship maybe? The answer is not this year. But once we win, if we win 70 games and don't win a championship, then somebody needs to be fired that's not named uh, Kenny Beecham because I'm doing my part, I think. I th no, that just means I'm making or building really good regular season. Season. We have the fifth overall pick again. This year, I'm not going to use it. We're actually going to make some trades. We're actually going to make some trades because now we're becoming a little bit too expensive. Um, Isaiah Joe, who we picked up, has to be traded, I believe. So we'll trade him in the fifth overall pick to... I said we're getting too expensive, and now I'm thinking about it. I kind of, ooh, trade up to number. I'm going to trade up to the third overall pick and get Denny Abdiya back. Denny, I would have, okay, here are my, my prediction for Denny's stat line last season. Nine, four, and six. Let's see if I'm right. Nine, four, and six. Ah, I'm like that. Nine, four, and six. <laughs> he's not, he's getting traded. He's not standing the same. Are you kidding me? Um, But wow, you know. Pretty, pretty good prediction, Mr. Kenny Beach. That's all I'm saying. Oh, my gosh. Shane Sharp is here. Last year of his deal, but he's here. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What is... I don't even remember what our starting lineup is at this point. Um, Jalen Johnson, it was on the last year of his deal. Uh, he has been really, really good for us. Like, look at that. He's even shooting it efficiently from three. Braden for a good power forward, I think it go a long way. So that's my idea. Or a good small four, because of course, Jalen Johnson can play both. Dang, there's our guy, Scoot. How you been doing since we traded you? You blossomed. See, that's why we traded you. We wanted you to become the player we knew you could be. He's killing the game, and I love that for him. Uh, Jesse Payton, former second overall pick, he was really good this season, and he can shoot. Hold on, Jess. 99 midi what's your what's your defense like tell me you're a good defensive player he's not i can't i can't do it i can't do it then i can't do it then maybe i can none of these other Ooh. oh last year of his deal though we're gonna have to resign him there's jalen brown um we talk about good defensive player i'm sure he still is yeah he is wow we get bam too i'll do the trade is it smart are we all so super super expensive the, the, the answer to those questions is i don't know we about to find out i guess i said we needed to make some trades because we were expensive and i proceeded to trade for two really expensive players that's just my logic 
It, I mean, it, it's not good logic, but that's just the way I'm thinking. This guy was the 11th overall pick, has not played for us. He can go. $6 million for somebody that won't play, you can go. Let's hope this time around we don't get sold. Um, do we let Jalen go? Jalen Johnson, I'm speaking of. Because we'll have Udo, Amin, Jalen Brown, and then Bam at the four. We don't need Jalen Johnson, and I think he's super ex what What is your expensive meter at? He wants 27. See, I can't get to 27. I can't get to 27 right now, so we're going to have to... I'm going to keep the cap hold at the moment and see what happens, but uh, I'm just going to assume that he's going to find some other offer that's better for him. And you know what? Um, that will be okay. If we can't bring him back, that's okay. It looks like we're going to be able to bring him back. Um, yep. All right. So that makes no sense to me. That makes zero sense to me, but here we are. <laughs> we just brought back everybody. Now we got to figure out who start, who come off the bench, and that's a good problem to have because we're trying to win 60-plus games this season, and we just we just got a bunch of talent. D'Angelo Russell, sure. Nah, uh, he's 33. Actually, we don't want you back. I'm sorry, D'Angelo. I'm sorry to get your hopes up. I don't really want you on the team. We're going to get Keon because Keon is going to be the overall that you're going to be. Here we go. Play of progression. Um, Udo is up. Ball is up, and then everybody else is pretty much the same. Mayo jumps up. Cool. I, I don't know if he'll actually play for... Actually, he might play. He might get a little bit of minutes. 10th man in the rotation type minutes, you know. We'll be cool with that. Do they just want Jalen Johnson to come off the bench? I'm not upset with that. I, I don't hate that idea. I do not hate that idea at all. Yeah. Go 60 win lineup. 60... I think we're going to win high 60s. Yeah. We're going to win high 60s. We might have to make a trade to that line because we're so good. All right. Uh, did we succeed in our attempt to win? In, wait. Oh. Oh. We have a man, Thompson. I was about to go crazy. Like, what the heck? So they got the MVP and the DPOY. So shout out to them. Uh, and much, much, most clutch player. We won 67 games. We are one year away from doing the thing that we we, we, we end here seven of eight, which is pretty good. Uh, eight of eight is, of course, better. And we about to win the championship because Sari Eason is on the other side. He's their best player there. Eight C going to the NBA Finals. Shout out to them, but they end up losing. So we get that one NBA championship that we've been looking for. <gasps> We're one game away. Oh, I'm sorry, one year away. We have to turn this team into a 70-win team. Again, I'm going to say the same thing we said the last couple years. I don't know if we have any first-round picks. We don't. We run out. We run out of extra first-round picks, I mean. So we do have our own, but we need to win four more games this season, three more games this season. How do we do that? Um, this is the problem. Okay, 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 okay. Let's. I don't care about the draft. We're going straight to free agency and stuff. I don't think I'm going to have the money to bring back the team that we had this year. So we need to find a way to parlay that to something else. Now, again, luckily, we have our own first round picks. We have one offer for Amin Thompson. It's not a good offer. We're going to offer him a good offer. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's go out there. Let's go win this championship, Amin. Um, Bam on a bio also has one offer. It's not a good offer. And then Ball has a bunch of offers that we're going to have to match because he's just that good. And you know what? We're not afraid to match his offer because, again, he's just that he's just that good. Let's get these guys back on our team, and then we can focus on Bam is what I thought we were going to be able to do. But Bam went to the wraps. That's okay, Bam. We're going to look at you differently, and when we go against you, we're going we gonna to try to blow y'all out. All right, so now that we know that we lost Bam, we're still running with 490-plus overall players, which is cool. Um, I am going to give Gribbs a big contract so we can trade him away. I think we got to trade the picks that we got and increase the roster that way so like it might be time for Jalen Johnson and Gribbs to get off the team for the, for the sake of getting one player and Jalen Johnson has just been so consistent again I want to give him love for all of the success he's helped us with Alfred Shingun is here can run him at the four just like we just did with Bam on the bio I guess do we love it no right now it's the best offer on the table but I have also didn't look around the league really Anthony Davis at at 37 and 82 years old, it's untouchable to the Atlanta. Why? He's 37 and 82 over. Why is he untouchable? I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Never seen that before. Now we can get Paolo Bancaro here. They don't even want a first round pick. Is Paolo the player that we invest in for our four? He's averaged 20 points. Yeah, oh, he's a 40% three point shooter now. Cool. I am also saying that, Paolo, you're not safe. And I'm going to offer you in a first round pick on the market. Jabari Smith Jr. is higher than you. Wow. I did not see that coming. Now, it's only about one overall. It's not like something crazy. But I just didn't see that coming at all. And he's probably here to stay. There's Donovan Mitchell and stuff. Paolo Bencaro rounds out the starting lineup. It is Udo. It's Amen. It's Jabari. It's Paolo. And then it's Ball. 
The bench right now consists of Jonathan Steele, Norm Singleton. Norm Singleton should be getting better. Jonathan Steele's probably not. So we probably flip Jonathan Steele to go get. We need like at least two really, really good bench players. At least two really, really good bench players. So we can do Steele and Mayo. I really just draft the Mayo because the, the condiment reference. That's it. We're going to trade up a little bit to Jaden McDaniels and a guy named Keon Dunleavy. Don't know anything about Keon, but he is 22 years old. Um, and younger players have good value. So we're going to throw him in the trade finder too. We can get up to Keontae George. That's a really good role player that could come in. I mean, he's an 87. And I'm, right now I'm saying 87 is a role player. That is an easy deal for us to do. We gave up a lot of players in that deal, but I'm okay with that. Arthur Reeves is coming to the team. Don't know nothing about him other than the fact that he's good enough to play on our team. And now we do free agency and fill out the rest of the roster. We're not going to have a bunch of money, obviously. We got like the, the minimum. <laughs> There's another norm. Multiple norms on the team would be kind of fun. Do we believe we can win 70? I, let, let's see if the new norm, the other norm goes up. And overall, he goes up by one. Dang. Okay. Well, we probably flip him now that we know he's not going to progress like crazy. So he can go um, for another wing, I would say. And we can run eight man. Um... Jalen Brown went down. Huh. All right. It's only about one. It's only about one. So I don't want to overreact, but like trades, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. There's Bari. Sheesh. Bari or, or Paolo can run three. Uh, Bari can run four. Or we go get Brandon Miller. Brandon Miller's the guy. Look at the shooting splits. What's what's the defense like, Brandon? Oh my God, he's a 99, 80, a 98, three. What's the, what's the defense like? Yeah, I'm sorry, Jalen. You have to go. You're a little bit too old for us. Boom. And he, oh, man, he goes up as a small four. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Did we just cook up a crazy team? Yes, we did. All right, so I'm going to go. End of the season, make sure everybody has a secondary position. I'm going to look at it. We got two more first-round picks that are tradable. Remember, we need to win 70-plus games this year. And we lost Bam on the bio this offseason. So, you know, we had some big shoes to fill. But I feel pretty good about things at the moment. Uh, we'll see if that stays. And if things ain't going great, you know we... We will make trades if necessary. You feel me? We will make trades if necessary. Luis Sloan, who are you? Oh my God, he's a shooter. He's a shooter. He can't really defend. I don't really care. Welcome to the team. Um, we we really didn't need you, but like last year, you were pretty good. You're pretty good. Okay. All right. So now we have Keontae George, Luis Sloan, and Arthur Reeves. We have a backup point guard, small forward, center. I like that top eight of that team. I really like the top eight of that team. Are we done? I would be crazy to say yes to that question. We got to keep looking. Stacey Franklin is an 84 overall point guard. Um, him or Keontae has to run shooting guard. He's 6'2". Keontae is 6'4". Um, Keontae is going to be a backup shooting guard. So now we have an even more balanced team. I like that. And again, I'm going to keep on making trades as long as it's like, you know, as long as it's open for us to make trades. We're going to try. That's where it's all, it all ends. That's cool. We would just run a nine-man rotation. It's Udo, it's Thompson, Brandon Miller, Paolo Bancaro, Bruce Bro Bruce Ball. Then off the bench, we have Keontae George, Luis Sloan, Stacey Franklin, and Arthur Reeves. Woo! What a... that's a, If that ain't a 70-win team, I don't know what it is. First game of the year is a boom. Big win. Big win. You know what? Let's let's see what it looks like. I'm, ooh, that's an early loss. That's okay. No, that's two early losses, but that's okay. Go ahead, fill out the roster with whoever you want. Leave it as it is, though. All right, here we go. Here we go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, three losses early. We we can only lose 12, right? We can only lose 12 games this year. If we got three early on, hmm, it's not ideal. We need like a month of straight domination. So from November 10th to like December 10th, no losses, no L's, just strictly dub after dub after dub after dub. End season tournament champions. Yup. We did that. We did that. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. This is this is the year. We can get seven. 70 wins is secure. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenge is over. Can we probably gonna win a championship? 76 wins is the number. Bruce Ball wins MVP. Uh man, what a year. Oh my god, Luther Mayo. We let him go and he blossomed. I love that. I love to see old friends hit their ceilings. You know? That's all I care about. That's all I care about. I just want everybody to be successful. Let's see if we go ahead and win another championship, and that will be a wrap for the video. Um, if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave it a like. It means a ton to the channel. It is December, which means that I am trying to go, I try, I'm going to say trying to go overdrive on this channel, my basketball channel, and all of the other stuff. Uh, Y'all know how December really be. So leave a like, subscribe. The comment section is open for different suggestions, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.